phone with me right now is a Reynolds High School uh, student, Jamie Infante. Uh, Jamie, you were inside that school when the, uh, the shooting occurred. Tell me what happened. What did you hear and what did you do? Um, when it first happened, I didn't really know what to expect. Um, Mr. Dixon, I believe, was the one who announced it, saying this is a lockdown. Uh, go in the room, turn off the lights and lock the doors. And then at the end, he said, this is not a drill. And from then on, I just I just lead to the room nearest to us where my original teacher, Mr. Larson, told us to go into Mr. Moffitt's room. And from then on, we sat in there for about 40 minutes in the dark. And we found out that it was actually in the gym building, not in the main building. So we were able to turn on one light and to have some communication with what was going on outside. And about like 15 minutes or so later, Mr. Moffat comes in and he says, all right, um, I need you guys to stay calm, but there has been um, a few gunshots and there was a teacher that has been shot. And then later on, somebody on their phone found out from like Twitter or something that Mr. Ristler was the one that got shot. And at first I thought, you know, he was legitimately shot, but then later on we found out that he was um, disgraced by the bullet. Then about um, 10 minutes or so later, um, police officers and SWAT team and FBI came banging on the door saying, police, police, um, everybody stand up with your hands behind your head. And then we went out. And before then I heard some, like, people, like, wanting to come inside, like, just like some students who just arrived there pretty late. So, so let me let me ask you about just take me back to when it all started. I mean, do you do you remember hearing the gunshots? And if so, how many? I don't remember hearing gunshots. Um, I heard something that turned out to be a gunshot. I thought I didn't even realize it was a gunshot. I thought somebody just like dropped something, you know, on the outside and I didn't think anything of it. And later on, I found out it was a gunshot. And it, it just sounded like somebody dropped a book to me. You know, we've, we've all seen these scenes uh, play out so many times. I'm sure you have as well. How, how did you find the, the strength and, and your fellow students, I mean, to remain calm inside this classroom? I mean, did you barricade yourselves or did you just remain calm? To be quite honest, the people that took it seriously were scared. But the majority of the people that I was with in the room did not take it seriously. Um, uh, there were people who just laughed about the whole thing and kind of didn't really want to believe it, but also wanted to seem pretty calm about it. But if anything, they weren't taking it as seriously as they should. And, and Jamie, tell me, because in that press conference we were just listening to here on CNN, they said that there had been a, a dry run uh, of sorts? Is this a lockdown dry run or what type of drill were, were all the students put through? Oh, it was just a lockdown where you, everybody goes into a room uh, as far away from the windows and as far away from the door as possible, turn off the lights and everybody has to be quiet. That's what we went through. And how quickly were you able to call your family and let everybody know you were okay? Um, when we were still sitting in silence for about the first 20 minutes, I was, um, I saw some people going on their phones, like texting and I just decided maybe that's okay. And so I started texting and I started, um, letting my mom know what was happening, where I was. And it was kind of like short, brief text messages because I wasn't sure what was going to happen. And if anything, I was trying to hide the light from my phone just in case, right. but it didn't seem like anybody around me really did all um, that much precaution. So at least I was able to let her know what was happening. Well, I'm sure she uh, appreciated that, as did uh, so many other parents who were so worried about their, their children and their students. Uh, Jamie Infante, thank you so much and glad you're safe. Appreciate your time.